If you have a freebie or you're trying to create a list of email subscribers, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that and show it using Flowdesk, the best software around to do just that. I'm Melissa of Superhero Design and I create bold brands for ambitious women online. Let's get to the video. There are exactly three ways to embed a Flowdesk form into your website. The first one is embedding it into a canvas, like in one of these sections. The second way is adding a pop-up, and the third way is linking out to a Flowdesk form hosted by Flowdesk. And I'm going to walk you through all three, so if you don't want to hear any of these, just skip to the one that you want to hear. Um, that was in the order that I'm going to be doing them. So the first way is embedding it into a canvas. So I'm going to head over to Flowdesk. I'm going to click on Forms, Create New Form, Inline, and then I'm going to choose one of these templates that they have that look nice. Let's go with this pink one right here, Customize. Then you choose the segment you want to send it to. So um, it might be something like people that signed up on your website. Maybe you call it that. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to add any segment. Click Save. All right, so this is what it will look like. So I can customize it here. And basically what you want to do is just try to pick fonts that look similar to the font that is on your website. So not going to spend too much time with this because you can customize it to look like your own website, obviously. But let's just say that your colors look something like this. Um, let's see. Let's just pick a nice looking font here. Um, I believe that was the font that it was when we started. Um, okay. Anyway, so let's just say that this is my form. I have it all set up the way that I want. I'm going to click on Next. Um, double opt-in. These are just choices through Flowdesk, so I'm just going to roll through these because you can figure out which ones you want to do for your own form. All right, so once you get to this, I found that the easiest way to embed into a canvas is to click on Advanced Options down here. Don't mess with any of this. And get raw HTML code. I am going to not disable any of that. Click Continue and Copy. So once that's copied, you're going to head over to show it and add a canvas where you want this to be located. So I kind of think on the bottom near the footer is a good place to put it. Add blank canvas. Let me scroll it where I need it to go. Above the footer, here we go. I'm going to go down to the bottom middle square and click on embed code. Double click and paste in my code. Save and make this box big so that it fits into the space here. Okay, let me zoom in. Here we go. I am just going to make that smaller so I can see what I'm doing. All right, so here we go. Here is my form. I'm going to align it to the canvas centered and then on the mobile version as well. I'm just going to kind of take a look here and make sure everything looks okay. Okay. All right. And depending on how zoomed in or zoomed out you are, it might look a little funky, but you can just ignore that because Flowdesk will actually make it look good in real life. So as long as there's enough space, you should be good to go. All right. I'm going to click on publish. and go to my website. It's not there, so I'm going to refresh the page. And voila, there is my beautiful Flowdesk form working properly at the bottom of the page. So that is method number one. Method number two is to add a pop-up, which I'm gonna show you next. So I'm gonna go get out of here, go back to Flowdesk, I'm gonna add a new form, click on pop-up. I'm going to select a pop-up and again choose the segment you want it to go to. This is your pop-up. You can customize it how you want in Flowdesk. Click next. Um, display this pop-up. You can kind of choose when. I think 10 seconds is usually pretty good. 
um, or 30% when they scroll down the page. It's really up to you. I'll just click on 30% um, for this purpose. Continue. Okay, so here's my header code. I don't need to go to advanced options in this one. I'm gonna click on copy. Back to show it, I'm gonna click on the home page. Advanced settings on the right under custom head HTML box. Click on that and you paste it and click save. I'm going to delete this canvas as well because I don't need it anymore. I'm gonna click on publish. I'm going to refresh my website, scroll 30% down, and voila, there is my pop-up. That is the second way to do a Flowdesk form. The third way is to link out to a Flowdesk form. So back in Flowdesk, click on Forms, New Form. Full page is going to be the option. So I'll click on this one. Again, choose a segment. All right, so you can customize this how you'd like. Obviously, click on Next. And here is the link. So you're gonna to wanna to click on Copy, and then back and show it. So say you want this Sign Me Up button here to link out to that page. So I'm gonna click on the Sign Me Up, and on the right-hand side, click on Click Actions type in URL, paste in your URL, open in new window, get rid of this other action that it was doing, click on publish, back to my website, let's see, let's click on sign me up, and boom, it clicks out there, but whenever I click out of here, it goes back to my site, and that is why you select um, go to a new, or open a new window. So that are the, those are the three ways to do Flowdesk. I hope that this email helped you.